a date with a little knick-knack from Knack-Knack. <laughs> Well, you, your face looked familiar, that look. I thought you looked familiar, too. Where was it we met? Now, let me see. Uh, where are you from? Pump Handle, Kansas. Of course, that's where I was. Well, how have you been? Fine, and you? Oh, fine. How's your brother? <laughs> brother? You know, the one with the funny teeth and the big ears who was losing his hair. That's my sister. <laughs> oh, how have you been? Pretty good. And you? Just fair. Are you still rooming with that fat dame who used to drink sterno over the rocks and flipped her wig? That wasn't my roommate. Wasn't your sister, I hope. It was my mother. <laughs> how have you been? I haven't been too well lately. We don't seem to know much about each other. I know a little bit about a lot of things. But I don't know enough about you. Just when I hoped you were mine, you got a different line. Baby, what can I do? I've read the latest news. I've heard the newest blues. But baby, I'm confused about you. You got me in a spin. Oh, what a spin I'm in. Cause I don't know enough about you. Are you a jack of all trades? Master of none. I bet you got yourself to play. I know that I'm so sure that you'd be good for me if you would only play my game. You know I've been to school and I'm nobody's fool until the day I bump into you. You know a little bit about a lot of things. But what do I know? Look at that glow. I know a lot of things. I got a lot of things to learn about you. It's a real privilege to be up here and meet once again my very good friend, the man whose life and inspiration for the book and the picture, 12 o'clock high, the Commander-in-Chief of the Alaskan Command, General Frank A. Armstrong, right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we of the Alaskan Command are very happy that this wonderful show has come to Alaska. On behalf of all the officers and men of the armed forces in Alaska, I would like to extend a warm holiday greeting to all of you. And take this opportunity to express our deep appreciation to Bob Hope and all the people who made this show possible. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. 
Thank you, General Armstrong. Ladies and gentlemen, the H-bomb and the long-range bomber have made global war possible. These men of the Alaskan Command stand between you and possible attack. Our hats are off to them. And by the way, I want to wish a happy new year to all of you from all of your Chevrolet dealers and from everybody here on the show. And remember, for many years of happy driving, get yourself one of those new 57 Chevys. They're sweet, smooth, and sassy. Don't forget the new Chevrolet. See it and drive it soon. It's terrific. Les? Don't forget Dinah Shore with Perry Como on the Chevy Show on January the 13th. I'll be back on January the 25th with a great show from Hollywood. My guests will be Eddie Fisher, Betty Grable, Harry James, and that new team, Mark Monroe. I want to thank the United Airlines for their wonderful cooperation in gathering a lot of these people for this show tonight. Hope all you folks caught that Joe Palooka comic strip on the Veterans Hospital. It was wonderful. Happy New Year, everybody, from the top of the world and from the bottom of our hearts. show is made possible through the cooperation of the American Federation of Musicians, James C. Petrillo, President.